What's up everybody? Silas back again. It's pretty late in the day. I just got done hauling a bunch of junk into the shredder. I just got done recording a vlog about all that sort of stuff. And so that'll post separately from this one. But one thing that came in, uh, when I was buying a little bit of junk today, I didn't buy a whole lot, but I did buy a little bit. Just people that needed to sell it today, I said, go ahead and bring it. I'll make time for you. And one thing that came in today is this box fan. The people that had this had some stuff stored in it and the bank foreclosed on their property so they've got 30 days to clean everything up so they're just hauling everything in for scrap i haven't really looked in it i opened up the back door and i saw a few cool things laying at the back of it and i thought you know this would make a good treasure hunt video so we're going to go through it together we'll check the front seat see if there's anything in there first that door is locked i haven't even opened the hood on it yet i'm sure the motor and all that's still under it Where's that latch at? There it is. Yeah, it must be a fairly late model. It's got a throttle body and an aluminum radiator. It looks old, but it's not that old. Let's see if there's anything in the front of it. Not really seeing much up here. It just looks like a little bit of scrap and a little bit of trash. So let's go ahead and go around and open up the back door and check inside it. It's actually really not a bad box. I may, may save it. I may scrap it. I don't know yet. We'll see. But all sorts of treasures. He didn't have time to really go through it. There was a bunch of trash in here he threw out and he left the rest of this in here. There's still a little bit of trash, but I told him it's good enough. So it is what it is. The thing that caught my eye the most when I first opened this is this right here. Old wooden string wheel. It's, oh, it's missing a chunk. Other than that, it's not in too bad a shape. It's a little bit tore up up here. But still, these wooden string wheels in good condition are worth quite a bit of money. Even in this condition here, it's probably still worth a little bit at least. So we'll hang on to that for sure. I'm just going to make me a little pile back here at the back of stuff I'm going to keep. Put that there. I notice there's a couple little reflectors right here. There's an orange one, two orange ones. Two orange ones and two red ones. So that's pretty cool. Three are aluminum and one is steel. I've sold those before. Whoops, I don't break it. So that's some cool stuff. Let's see what else we can find in here. Here's a whole tub clear full of nails. Just odds and ends trinkets. Hmm, let's hop up in here. Ooh, what's this? Some sort of something. It's got like a bottle opener, several sizes of wrench, and then a little pry bar tip. I'm not sure what that is. I have no clue. That's kind of an interesting piece. That'll go in the craft pile. Is there anything else cool down here? There's another wrench. What I do with these type of things like this, just these little wrenches and odds and ends pieces like that, I take them and I throw them in a pile and put about 20 or 30 just random wrenches and screwdrivers and stuff together. Like here's a, ouch, pinched myself. There we go. Stuff like this, throw it over there. I'll put that in a pile and list it on eBay as arts and crafts. People will buy it from me and make whatever they want to make out of it. There's another little piece. Yeah, it's not big money, but it's super easy to list and super easy to package. So I don't mind doing it when I have time. Here's a wrench. To most people, they just look in here and they'd say, oh, that's just all trash. You're wasting your time even looking, but honestly, I probably am. But I'm tired of having to drive my truck and trailer all the way home every day. And so I have my other truck parked out at my other property. And so I want to leave my truck and trailer here. And I got to wait on my wife to come pick me up and take me out to where my truck's at. So I got nothing to do for a little bit anyway, so I'm just going to do this. 
saw something. Here it is. A gauge of some sort. Looks like a water vacuum. Huh. It's kind of an interesting gauge. That'll go in the steampunk pile. What's this? Oh, just a dust cap. I think these are probably mostly empty. What do we got in here? Oh, those are cool. See these right here? Some sort of splices for hoses, but they've got a really unique look to them. So this box of stuff here will sell for arts and crafts. So I'll be sure, be sure to save that. I'm just gonna throw this gauge up here as well. Let's see what else we can find in here. A bird nest. Move it down there out of the way. Just odds and pipe fittings, nothing good there. What is this? Oklahoma tire and supply lubricating grease. That's kind of a neat old can. It's kind of greasy, but still a neat piece. Some parts books. Uh, I don't really see anything. Oh, there's some stuff down here. Let's see if there's anything good in here. No, nothing really good there. Let's see here, anything else up here? No, no. Just gonna have to look through here as I walk, that way I don't step on any good stuff. Don't really see anything good down here on the floor. I'll kind of dig through it a little bit. There's a cute little crescent wrench. That'll go good in the tool pile. You know what, actually, We'll dump this out and we can throw all the tools in that. Put that over there so we can put tools in it. That's empty. Junk. Trash. Let's see if there's anything good in this little tray. Don't really see anything. Not there at least. What's this book? A Chilton truck and van repair manual. It's kind of neat. Somebody might want that. We'll set it up there. Oh, there's a neat piece. This old hardware off of old cabinets and old dressers and whatnot, that type of stuff, is bringing big money. I went to a garage sale here a while back, and they had several little beer flats. Kind of like uh, these up here. Several boxes like that, just clear full of just odds and ends hardware. And they wanted like five bucks a box or whatever. So I bought them, took them home, and I kind of pieced together a few sets of handles and whatnot. And I was getting 50 and 60 bucks a set. So that's just crazy. Color black. It's probably nothing good, but I'll lay it up there so I don't step on it and gush it open. I'm not really seeing too much good down here in this pile of trash, but I'm not digging real deep. Looks like mostly just junk. Kind of look through all these up here. There's a hammerhead that can go with the tools. Put that back there. Main thing I wanted to check was all these shelves. Might be something good in here. Some more books. What's this? Hollander Interchange. Let's see, that's a fairly late model there. Nothing I'm really interested. I will eBay it, make sure it's not worth anything. If it is, I'll save it, but if it's not worth much, I'm not gonna mess with it. Most of these boxes are empty. Just going through them and feeling them. I think they're mostly empty boxes. There's something. Let's see what we got here. Set of gauges off a torch. That's pretty cool. It says Craftsman on there. This one's got a cracked lens, but they're brass gauges. So, I mean, those there will probably bring about five bucks a piece for art. And then the thing itself, I can throw in the scrap brass and get a chunk out of it as well. So yeah, we'll hang on to that. Set it back here. Well, there's another funky looking wrench over there. We'll go over there in just a second. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's keep looking over here. 
There's a cool little handle. I don't know what it goes to. It looks familiar, like I should know what that is. But I can't quite place it. But we'll hang on to it. Once again, I put a bunch of those in a pile and they'll sell for arts and crafts. Uh, anything good in here? Here's a can. Racing motor oil. Nothing good. I saw something. Here we go. Yeah, there's another gauge. See, now gauges like this, which I guess this one isn't a bad one. Let me clean this gauge off real quick. You see how the needle kind of has a unique design to it? That's probably a two or three dollar gauge there. And then the rest of that's just scrap. But we'll hang on to that. Let's see, anything else good? Motorcraft Super Premium 10W40. This must be one of the last ones of these they made because it still has the barcode on it. We'll go ahead and hang on to that one. Let's see if there anything else. More empty jugs. Here's something. Uh, some light, just junk. Looks like just junk and junk and more junk down there. Don't know what's in here. Huh, there's something in this box. Let's see what's in this. Clean all this trash and junk off of it. Here's another old book. What's this book? 1964 to 71 Chilton Manual. I guess we'll hang on to this one. Another Hollander down there. We'll set it up there. What I'll probably do, honestly, is just go through here and grab all of the Hollander books, all the Chilton books, that sort of stuff, put them in a big pile and sell them all to one person for one money, and then they can take them to the swap meets and that sort of stuff. Oh, here's something. See, I don't think I'm going to save this just because it's got this big hole up here and I don't feel like messing with it. But this right here. Now these don't bring as much money as they used to. This in here probably will just because it's got a really unique design. But a lot of people like these for decor. And with that unique shield on the front of it, flip up shield, I think that'll still sell for decent money. So we'll hang on to that. I used to get like 25, 30 bucks a piece out of these welding helmets, these old ones like this. And the last couple I sold, I only got 15 out of, but we'll shoot for 25 on this one again. Gotta move all this junk out so I can even get in this box. Not sure what that is. Looks like a book, old book of some sort. Put it in there. This box is falling apart. It's in here. Oh, there's an old wrench. That's a very old wrench there. Check that out. That's a really old one. We'll hang on to that. Put it up there for now. There's an old hand screw. Put it up against you like this, or you could hold it in your hand like this. And you'd spin it to drill. That's a neat piece. What else we got? Ooh, another old wrench. Cool. Yeah, these are the premium things here. The only thing is, is my dad likes these. So I'll probably just give him these really cool ones like this. Briggs and Stratton service manual. We'll save that. Grease gun is junk. Yeah, we'll hang on to these old picks. Oh, here we go. See these old antique garden tools. If I can put three or four or five pieces of these together, different shapes and old styles like this, then those will sell pretty good online as well, as a lot. One by itself doesn't really sell for anything, but you put them together, then they sell.
the newer stuff doesn't really sell. A couple more old screwdrivers. Let's see what else we got. See these here? The guy puts a bunch of this type of stuff together, they will sell. There's another funky little wrench thing. Oh, here's some more garden hose attachments. That's the key to selling stuff on eBay is you if you really have nothing else to do, you can sell it one piece at a time and do okay. But if you want to make money quick, you just sell it in bulk. Get rid of it. What do we got here? Bolt-on trailer hitch just goes up under the bumper. Some of those have actually started catching on. For whatever reason, some of the lowrider guys are starting to like them. Nothing good in there. Okay, now I think we can get in this box. I don't know if there's good stuff or just I'm wasting my time. We're about to find out. Oh, the display pieces for hardware, and this stuff isn't that old. This is newer stuff, so it's probably not really worth anything. But I mean, just for, once again, throw it in a lot. Oh, it's riveted on, so yeah, it's really not worth anything. Yeah, so that was a lot of wasted effort for nothing. But we found some other cool stuff in there. Let's see if there's anything here. I think there's an old pitchfork. Gotta clean this stuff out. Boom, there we go. Oh, that was a good piece I just dropped. That's a big one there. Check this out. There we go. See, now this is the good stuff. The old clamp-on mirror. That there will sell pretty good. A vintage clamp on like that still has the hardware. Yeah, that's definitely a good piece there. Let's see what else we got. Unique leg. See, stuff like that works good for the craft people too. If a guy throws a bunch of just random table legs that are shaped like this, and just odds and ends shapes together, you can sell them. But once again, the key is bulk. And so I just take them and I throw them in a pile. And when I get bulk of them, then I can sell them. Anything else good in here? A bunch of empty boxes. What do we got here? Oh, more reflectors. There's a light. That piece will sell. More reflectors. More reflectors. A whole bunch of reflectors. So yeah, we'll save that box. Empty box, empty box, empty box. Just tons and tons of empty boxes. There's a light. That's a cool one. We'll put that here in this box. That stuff. Let's see here. else down here. Some more junk. Let's grab this wrench out of here while we're thinking of it. Yeah, that's a cool one. And here's a pair of broken pliers. But see, even just already being taken apart like that, those will still sell in a bulk lot. There's a piece there. There's a homemade one of those right there. Here's another one. That's not very neat though. Some more tools. I guess we can throw these tools in with those. Huh. Yeah, so not too bad. And here we go. This is a unique tray. This little tray right here. The little mini loaves. Somebody will probably buy that for art and craft purposes. Yeah, not a lot of good stuff, but there's a little bit in here. Here we go. A couple old coffee cans. I got a buyer that buys all my metal coffee cans, and she pours candle wax into them, puts wicks in them, and uses them for candles. Like rustic vintage style candles. Yeah, that'll sell. Pretty much any metal can like this. She used to be picky and just want the old metal cans, but... Now it's getting so hard to find any metal cans that she'll even buy these like that. Now here, this can is kind of neat. 
kind of unique. I bet she'll buy it too. It's got a bunch of junk in it, it'll dump out. Yeah, there's several cool cans there. All these manuals. I don't really have time to get all this stuff out of here today. But what I'll do is sometime, maybe next week, I'll drive over here by this and I'll clean it all out into my truck. And then I'll load the box fan up on my truck on the trailer and haul it on into the shredder. But yeah, we got some cool gauges, got a bunch of tools, got that wood and steering wheel, bunches of auto books, some cool cans, some more old tools, old pitchfork head, all sorts of interesting stuff. Nothing a person wouldn't be able to live without, but still it was worth the time to go through. Like I say, there's probably, oh, I don't know. There's probably about $200 worth of neat random stuff in here. Maybe a little more. I don't really know what the books are worth. I haven't looked any of those up yet. But it was definitely worth going through. Go ahead and close this back down for now. There we go. Yeah, if this box was in a little bit better condition, I would go ahead and save it, but it's a little bit too rough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and scrap it. And that's all for this one. This is kind of a short one, not a super interesting one. I didn't find a million dollars, nothing like that, but there was a few little odds and interesting things in there. And this is just something different to do. I've been working and hauling cars and crushing cars like crazy, and I just, I needed a break from it, so that was a good break. And you know me, whatever I'm doing, I just take a camera with me, and I record it. They can't all be winners, but it was somewhat interesting. I hope you found it somewhat interesting. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, give it a like, and remember to get out there and find an adventure, even if it's not a super interesting one. Anything's better than nothing. We'll see you next time.